Welcome to the van. I am back. It's Sunday today. I wanted to get in yesterday, but I had to tattoo somebody's eyebrows and then I went to the gym and um, time got away from me. But today I am starting the carpet up front. So I'm not nervous. Whatever happens, happens. But I was just looking at the seats because I thought I was going to take them off, but I realize I don't think I'm going to take them off and I will show you why right now. So here is the carpet now, you can see that. So this part I'm going to buy tile or I bought tile for, I have that. That's the first part I'm going to take up. I want to tile this part till, I don't know, I might take it across. We'll see what happens. And then I have the carpet tiles. So this right here just snaps off. So I think I'm just gonna take that off and we'll see what it looks like. I will show you after I do it. And do you see how that is green? It's not an optical illusion. It has just faded to that. As you can see, that was like a, I don't know, it's like a brown. And that is also green. And I looked under here because I was going to take this off, but with the tiles, you know, it just comes to here anyway. So I am going to just carpet there. Maybe I'll tile there. Who knows? But I am going to take, it looks like this one is broke. I think it's fine still, but I think I'm going to try and find another one of those. But this comes off and that's all I think I need to take off. And I just have to find a bolt to fit that or a screw or whatever to take that out. And then I think I should be able to just, like I said, the base, see how this, it just goes under there anyway. So I'm sure it would be easier to do the carpet if I took it off, but I think in the long run, it'll be harder to take out the seats that would be a bigger job than to just go around the bottom like that and then when I do the front these can swivel around so I can have them facing this way so I can work in the front so that's the plan at least I'm gonna try it <clears throat> I don't have any qualms about doing it I mean the carpet has to come up either way and just so you know I have like looked into somebody doing it or somebody at least helping me with it um, and you know, I had like a big carpet that somebody donated to me, but I don't think I could take this out in one piece and then make a pattern for it and do that. Again, that just seems like a lot of work. Not that it's not going to be a lot of work, but um, I think for me, I really want to tile that instead of carpet that. And I think the carpet tiles, because I can cut them um, to size to get around things, I think it's going to work for me. But if it doesn't, then the carpet's up and I'll figure something out after that. So I don't know. Let's start and see what happens. So I just put the um, X-Acto knife underneath this and I just want to show you how easy that came up. And I am so pleased because that is what's underneath. So it is not like really stuck there, which I was afraid of. I mean, I may run into that there. I cut right there, so we'll see what happens. But there's no going back now, but I am happy that that nice wood is under there. So, okay, I'm gonna continue. I should have waited to put the lagoon thing on. I'm going to try and get around it if I can, but we'll see. But as you can see, the X-Acto knife, oh, can you tell it? Oh my God. That's what us light skinned people have to do. I fake tan, so ignore that. All right. And I'm sweating. Oh, I'm sure it's all 
coming off. I did it last night. Okay, let's get to the end of the road. Oh, nice. It just came up there. I think it's... Okay, feel that. Yeah, there's like a, a staple there. So, like I said, I am so happy. That's what it is. It's stapled. All right. Okay, I'm this far. Let's see what happens. Me and my fake tan. That's, em that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna continue. So I wanted to give you an update to where I'm at. So once I pulled this up, that was there. And it may be the start of some mold. So I am gonna put bleach on it before I lay anything down. And then this is where we are. I took the seat off. And actually, this was the original carpet color. So green was the original carpet color. So I am going to pull that off and redo that. Okay, I got all the carpet off around there. So for today, I'm just going to take care of the top and maybe the side of this. And then put the chair back on. And then at another time, I'll deal with this stuff because I need the chair on. So, okay, let's get to work. So I am using this carpet tile and I measured, I'm gonna do just this part first because you're not really gonna see under the seat, but so I measured that out and I'm gonna cut it. And then I got this indoor carpet tape, so it's double-sided. You put it down, and then when you're ready, you take the top off of it, and then it's sticky on the top, and then you lay it down. So let's see how that works. Okay, I cut this, and I haven't taken up the tape yet, but I am going to peel the tape off here. What it looks like it's super duper sticky, which is good and what you'd expect. There we go. And then I'm gonna lay it on there and I'll show you what it looks like after it's all done. Hello. Uh it is actually the next weekend. Um I started doing the carpet and then it was a big job, so um, yeah, it's Saturday, it's about two o'clock, and I started to get in here a lot earlier, and then I had to bring my daughter to urgent care. She's fine, everything's fine, uh, so getting a late start again, uh, but yeah, I am going to lay the tile today, that's this, and I'll show you what I got going on so far. So this is where, as far as I got with the carpet, I have to put more. I put it, I didn't put that little piece running the same way, but I did go to Menards and I got a specific carpet cutting tool. I actually got two of them. And then I got these. So these will go like that. Um, just so that it looks a lot cleaner on the corners here because as you can see I have that so that's what I'll be doing there and I got um, for that I don't know they told me to get this so we'll see how that works on that and then yeah I'm gonna lay the towel right here and see what happens and that bleach really took that up so that should all be fine. And I will show you when I'm done what it looks like. And voila. So it is the next day. I ended up having to take my daughter to emergency care. So yeah, I had to take my daughter to urgent care yesterday and uh, everything's fine. She got penicillin, she'll be fine. Uh, but. I finished that part of the floor and now I'm working on this part and I'm going to show you right now. 
So this was pretty easy. As you can see, I have caulk in there. Um, I'm gonna get some caulk remover. Um, I didn't wipe it up right away. I had done it and that's what my daughter called. So that's why it looks like that. But I will show you the beautiful, once the caulk's up on the things there, the final. And you know, this is not straight right here. And so the board like kind of went like this back there. So there was like a bigger gap, but small details. The hard part is this. So the rest of the carpet all came up really easy. It was just stapled down. I'm working on this one right now, getting that off. And this is the hard part though. So I had gotten this, it did nothing. And then I got this, and this is helping more. So I'm just pulling up, as you can see, it's really glued on there. So that's gonna take a bit, but it'll be well worth it. And as I said before, it's funny, sorry, this video is over actually a couple weeks. And um, that this green was actually, the the original color of the rug of the carpet and this is how dirty it is that <laughs> it actually looks like brown or maroon but i thought it was that because that more matched the seats than the green matches it so that's where i'm at and i'll give you a progress update probably do some things tomorrow and then uh, I will end this part of this video and then move on to the next video so I can finish the carpet because that's going to be a while. All right. Well, yeah, I'll be back with it. Up. Okay. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I got that and then I started taking this off and um, got kind of far. So, um, my uncle told me the adhesive remover wasn't working very well. So he told me to try lacquer thinner. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to let you go for this one. I actually just got home from getting my nose pierced. I've wanted it done for a long time and I finally just did it. So, um, all right, well, I am going to keep working on this and I will update you in the next video. So happy travels. And don't you want to know what is it you don't want to know? That's kind of my new phrase now, because that's what gets me jazz. Like if I say to myself, you know, cause I've wanted a piercing and I'm like, do you want to know? what it is to have a piercing or you know what it's like or whatever because I've wanted one and my answer was yes I do want to know and guess what if I don't like it I can take it out and no harm no foul so what is it that you want to say to yourself or ask yourself don't you want to know because if you don't want to know then you don't do it but I think it's a great question to ask ourselves to motivate us to do more and live, live more. So, okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here and I'll see you in the next one. Happy travels.